the recosticizing plant is designed to produce strong and clean white liquor containing a minimum amount of unreactive chemicals for the cooking process. Green liquor, which is produced as a byproduct of burning black liquor and burnt lime from the lime kiln, are used as raw materials. The processes in a recosticizing plant are the following. It starts with green liquor handling. The basic purpose of the green liquor handling is to filter green liquor coming from the recovery boiler dissolving tank so it can be suitable for recosticizing. Green liquor is pumped from the recovery boiler dissolving tank to a raw green liquor tank. The purpose of the raw green liquor tank is to stabilize the concentration, temperature, and flow fluctuations in incoming green liquor. The raw green liquor tank also acts as a storage tank between the recovery boiler and the green liquor filter. The lime green filter is a pressurized filter, which separates dregs from the raw green liquor by cross-flow filtration. The pressure difference across the filtering surface forces part of the liquid through the element. A circulation pump sends the green liquor to the top of the filtering elements and the large downflow prevents the dregs from forming a cake. The capacity of the lime green filter is controlled by the pressure difference across the filtering surface. Clean, filtrated green liquor is sent to the green liquor tank. Concentrated dregs are discharged periodically from the filter. Green liquor temperature must be reduced in most mills prior to the recosticizing. This is done in the green liquor cooler, which is a combination of an expansion vessel and a heat exchanger, both operating under slight vacuum. The next process in the recosticizing plant is green liquor dregs handling, which means dregs washing, dewatering and removal from the process. This happens in the lime-free dregs centrifuges. The purpose of the green liquor dregs washing and drying is to replace the liquor in the dregs suspension with alkali-free liquid water. The original liquor, which is slightly diluted, returns to the process. The washed dregs are discharged as dry waste from the process. The following processes in the recosticizing plant are lime slaking and causticizing. Green liquor and lime are mixed together in a predetermined proportion in the slaker classifier. The first reaction is lime slaking, and it takes place in the lime slake. The causticizing reaction starts immediately after slaking. Grits which may remain from lime are removed as waste from the process in the classifier. The rest of the causticizing reaction takes place in the causticizer tanks. The causticizing line consists of three causticizers connected in series. Their purpose is to give lime milk sufficient retention time to complete the reaction to obtain white liquor filtration. Then, white liquor and lime mud resulting from the recosticizing reactions follow to the white liquor filtration. They are separated from each other in the lime white filter. The most important goal of separation is to produce clear white liquor without any residual lime mud. The white liquor separation is based on pressurized disc filtration. Filtrated white liquor is pumped from the lime white filter to the white liquor storage tank. Lime mud is pumped to the lime mud storage tank. The final process in the recosticizing plant is the lime mud filtration. Lime mud from the lime mud storage tank is pumped into a vacuum type disc filter. The purpose of the lime dry filter is to wash alkali away from lime mud and raise dry solids content to a suitable level before it is fed into the lime kiln. The quantity and the density of the lime mud 
pumped into the lime dry filter are precisely controlled as these values determine the lime kiln production. Alkaline liquids and filtrates produced in the process are called weak wash. They are collected and stored in the weak wash storage tank and from there pumped to the recovery boiler dissolving tank to control the green liquor density. 